We begin with China. It suffered a political earthquake today. China has sacked its foreign minister, a man called Ching Gan. He will go down in history books as China's shortest ever serving foreign minister, also the one who disappeared. That happened a month back. China has been hemming and hoeing about it since. First, they said nothing. They absolutely said nothing about it, refused to talk about, about what happened. Then they said Ching Gang is sick, but the story did not add up. All sorts of rumors began doing the rounds. Then there was talk of an affair. Beijing never confirmed anything, but today they pulled the plug. The minister was fired, no reasons given, quite dramatic even by China standards. This is how it played out. There was a snap meeting of the top brass today. It ended with a statement. It said, Ching Gang is leaving his post and Wang Yi, his predecessor, is now back as foreign minister. I have that statement with me. Just look at what it says. Barely two lines of text. We have a machine-generated translation and I'm quoting, Ching Gang was removed from his, the position of Minister of Foreign Affairs. Wang Yi has been appointed foreign minister. That's it. As cold and terse as it gets. And it raises more questions than it answers. Why has China made this change? Why is Ching Gang leaving? And why is Wang Yi being brought back? If China wanted to avoid questions and Scott's speculation over Ching Gang, they've only made it worse for themselves. For weeks now, they've been facing relentless scrutiny, endless questions about their foreign minister. One of the top leaders of the country, he just dropped off the radar and disappeared, just like that. He was last seen in public on the 25th of June. He met with officials from three countries, Sri Lanka, Vietnam and Russia. And this meeting happened in Beijing. This was his last public engagement as foreign minister of China. The next day, he disappeared. He was supposed to travel to Bali to attend an ASEAN meeting, but he did not go. China said he was not feeling well. And instead of him, they sent Wang Yi to Indonesia. And then it became a pattern. Wang Yi started filling in for Ching Gang on all occasions and Beijing refused to explain why this was happening. There was complete and total silence on the disappearance. High-profile meetings were called off. Europe's top diplomat was supposed to visit Beijing this month. His trip was abruptly postponed. Just two days before, Joseph Borrell was supposed to fly to Beijing. He was told to not come. China said the visit was no longer possible and they did not explain why. This information vacuum was filled with rumors. All kinds of stories were doing the rounds. There were claims of a purge. Some said the minister was being punished. What for? Again, no answers. Then another story started getting traction. It said the minister had an affair. He was linked to a journalist, Fu Xiaotian. She's a prominent face on Chinese television. And how is she related to Ching Gang? Well, this is what rumors slash reports say. When Ching Gang was an ambassador in the United States, he met Fu and he gave her an interview. And it gets murky from here on. Apparently, Fu has given birth to a baby in the US and soon after this, she too disappeared from the public eye. Has the minister been punished for this? China's foreign ministry was asked about all of it, about the alleged affair. The spokesperson was awkward and evasive in her response. Take a look at this. Does the foreign ministry have any update on uh, foreign minister Ching Gang and when he will return to public duties or what, why he's been out of the limelight for three and a half weeks now? Uh, Financial Times again. The, the Times of London has reported that uh, Ching Gang's disappearance is uh, related to being under investigation for an affair with uh, Fu Xiaotian, a Phoenix TV reporter who recently gave birth in the U.S. Do you have any comment on that? The Chinese diplomat said, I have no information to offer. To make matters worse, they deleted that statement from the final transcript of the press conference. So was it because of the affair? Well, there could be another explanation. And this is related to Xi Jinping himself. Chin was part of his inner circle, a trusted lieutenant who was rewarded for his loyalty. His rise to the top brass was meteoric. He used to be a protocol officer, someone who looked after Xi Jinping's foreign trips. Ching Gang worked closely with Xi Jinping. He is said to have impressed the Chinese president in that role. So he was given a promotion. He became China's top diplomat in the U.S. in 2021, China's ambassador to the U.S. Less than two years into that role, he was called back to Beijing and he was named the country's foreign minister, one of the youngest appointees to this post. 
Now, when you rise that fast in China, you're bound to make others jealous. You make political enemies. From the outside, the Communist Party may appear like a tight-knit unit. But inside, it is fractured. There are political camps. They wrestle with each other for power. And it is quite possible that Ching Gang fell victim to party infighting. He was appointed in December last year. Seven months later, he's been fired. Reports say he'll still remain a state councillor. This is a high-ranking position within the executive. But he'll certainly be less influential. We expect more details to come out in the days and weeks ahead. But whatever the reason for his sacking and disappearance, he has clearly fallen out of favour with Xi Jinping.